this passport is chipped, but will you be chipped? Will you take some type of mark or chip in your hand so that you can buy or sell? Now, nowadays, uh, having different technology like chips and things, it's in all of the debit cards and credit cards, and people even take chips in their bodies voluntarily in, for purchase uh, programs. And um, we've seen all of these stories out there, the RFID chip that they were putting in the um, back of, that they still put in the back of uh, pets and uh, farm animals, and then some people voluntarily take them in their body. A lot of people believe that's going to be this, a precursor or the mark of the beast that's going to be put in their hand or their forehead. Will they be able to take the mark so that they can buy and sell and have food for their family and then say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't really, I wasn't part of that system. I just took it because I needed to eat. Revelation 13 and verse 8, all who dwell on the earth will worship him. The him is talking about the beast whose names have not been written in the book of life. That's the key phrase there. Who's going to worship him? Whose names have not been written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So even though it says all will worship him, here's when we say, ah, yeah, but not me. Why? Because hopefully we hope that our name is written in the book of life. Let's keep reading and we'll come back to that verse. Uh, drop down to verse 16 in Revelation chapter 13. So verse 16, he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell. So why do they receive this mark? No one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. So, if anyone tells you that the mark of the beast has something to do with keeping Sunday or doing this or doing that, right here, the, the Bible says it, it's clear. These words are clear. It's nobody can buy or sell without this mark of the beast. But we know that we have nothing to worry about if we are followers of Yeshua and our Father in heaven giving us food is the easiest thing in the world that he can do. All of the, so many of the miracles that happened since the time of Moses, since the time of Adam and Eve and Moses, and then in the time of Yeshua were, were food miracles and they were abundant, right? The fish, the bread, the manna, the quail. Let's go to the next verse and that's in Revelation 14, verse 12. This one is just to encourage us and to remember when people try to discourage you about keeping the commandments, keeping Torah. Verse 12 of chapter 14. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of Yah and the faith of Yeshua. Don't separate them. Keep them together like it says right here in this verse. You keep the commandments of Yah and the faith of Yeshua. Go to Revelation 19 and verse 20. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Revelation 20 and verse 15. And anyone not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 13 and verse 8. All who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And back to Revelation 20 verse 15. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So there is no way around that. We must be firm. We, I mean, people have to be making decisions now not to be taking stuff into their body that shouldn't be there. You know what I'm talking about. People have been tested on this in the last few years. Are we in control of what's going on in our body? We have to be wise about this. We must be prepared, praying, studying, 
talking to other believers, strengthen each, strengthening each other. Iron sharpens iron. We must stay firm till the end, brethren. So, I'll close with that final verse again in Revelation 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of Yah and the faith of Yeshua.